hey guys welcome back to to with us after a small pause we are back again with our riding videos this time it's uh, it's one of my dream ride from south india to north east india as currently you know that uh, we guys are residing in bangalore and my hometown is in assam guwahati so i have chosen to ride a long way to my home covering the highways hills forests and the nature which i'm i was really thrilled to see like what are we going to face so uh, for this ride um, we required much more planning preparation which we were doing for around 2 months as what are the things required for a long distance ride and uh, then uh, in my bag there was a big problem for me because of the seat it was too soft and i was just going down and down so now i finally fixed it up with a with putting a silicone gel and with a cushion which gives a better look to my bike and even the comfort i felt it much more better and another point is the fog lights it's one of the important thing whenever you, uh, you guys are planning for a ride put it as one of your bucket list items to be placed in your bike because you don't know like how the highways and the uh, night trips would be because uh, just the uh, just covering or just knowing the distance will is not sufficient for a long trip you have to be prepared with your lights so this video is completely based on our first day trip that is from bangalore to vijayawada which is around 700 kilometers and there are some good experience and some little bit of bad experience which i'll definitely share you during my ride and without doing any further delay let's hop into the ride early morning we packed all of our luggage in our bike and then this started our journey and morning in tin factory we encountered traffic jam so we have to deviate our route and then we'll be connecting ahead again on the same road which leads to tirupati and then it will head to nellore and then we'll reach vijayawada so all the morning ride is very cool and pleasant and we are very excited to see the beauty of the nature this was the early morning sunrise on the outskirts of bangalore that was very good as of now and this was the first oskate toll gate which we encountered but yeah we didn't have to pay any toll because we were riding through our bike we came across one of the lake on the left side which was looking very nice we were enjoying our journey and there were some big big rocks which you will definitely see across bengaluru and those were really nice we then stopped for our first break over here This is the for our first day of our journey. We started at around 5:30, and then I need to stop uh, because of my luggage being a little bit misplaced. So there it took around another 20 minutes, and then. and i was exiting through the pink factory side so there was a huge traffic jam so again i had to take a diversion now we have uh, i have ridden over 
150 kilometers, and this is our first break. You can see the below place where we have stopped. This name is Swati Hotel Cafe. This is pretty much a good place you can stop by, and the uh, view is also great. After our uh, break, we took some pics and then again headed towards our journey. Anusha's helmet was bit creating some problem because um, we just purchased it two days back and then we hopped into the ride. So little bit difficulties in the helmet but still she managed and you can see the roads these were really were very nice and the highways were good enough to drive there was a tall gate over here and so there was some traffic jam but we cleared it out and then again headed back to the national highway there is a deviation in nh40 some road construction is going on driving the national highway was really fun and the roads were really nice. My point of driving the highway was to see the other parts of India. When we entered this particular road, this was having many potholes and in this particular road people were trying to overtake. I am not sure why are they doing so. This was really a little bit bad which we encountered. But after uh, crossing few kilometers, the road was again in a good condition. This particular road was very beautiful as it was surrounded by trees. And there were much sheds where you can just take up break and then you can again proceed there was also one of the bridge which we tried to capture on the right side we found a hill and at the top of the rock there was a temple i am not sure how we managed to go over to the top this was one of the beautiful hill on this particular road was looking really beautiful as both of the sides were covered by hills and definitely it was getting hotter time by time there were many diversions in the national highway but it was okay for some time it was pretty little bit problem but then again the roads were and enough to drive we stopped in some places to have some break and then in when you reach and it's 16 the roads were pretty much in a well condition and we encountered rain which was a bit drizzling but it was okay to ride I didn't face much problem in riding and then this was one of the toll gate in NH16 so NH16 is basically covering the road from Chennai to Kolkata so our whole journey is was on NH16 and this was one of the good things which I have seen where some signboards were placed where to slow down the vehicle like from 80, 60, 40 and then you can just slow down and then you can proceed you can see that the road constructions were going on 
and it was evening time my legs were started paining it's around 8 o'clock and we are reaching towards vijayawada it was a long tiring day we reach hotel this is hotel center side and we have booked the suite room as you enter you can see the sitting area and this is the wash one washroom they sanitized the hotel in front of us as well and we have two rooms here as you go inside left side is another washroom the storage area and then it's the bedroom there is no such view from the window but we have to stay only for one night so it's nice and completely sanitized hotel next day we have to start for our next destination and this is how the hotel looks from outside there are quite a lot parking area and it's a covered parking which is quite good and we are ready for our next destination that is YZ stay tuned stay connected for our next episode and do subscribe to our channel see you in our next vlog